are faithful. Oh, so faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Oh, so faithful. What a And even though the pastor's not here, the main one is here, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's who we need. And I can say, yes, we miss our pastor, and we'll be glad to see him and his family. But right now, it's us, and we're going to enjoy Jesus today right here in this place. Because one thing I've learned, it doesn't take a whole lot for God to show up. All it takes is just a few of us that have faith and believe that God works miracles and that he's going to do something great. God say he will turn it around. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. We look, at, we look at this story in Esther. It was a guy named Haman. Haman was a bad boy. He was a bad man. He was one that hated the Jews. In other words, the Jews was God's people, God's chosen people, just like us today. Man, I tell you, boy. When I even even big as I am, when I see a mice now, I'm like, my goodness. Cause, 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 cause back then, my sister, she, we got that man. We we was just determined. When we get old, we don't want to live like this. Them jokes to jump on your bed and tell you how you doing. See, I'm transparent. I'm deliberate. God will turn it around if you allow Him to turn it around. No matter what you go through in life, God will turn it around. But you got to allow God to turn it around. When you think about Joseph's life, the Bible said Joseph was a godly child. Joseph had a desire to please not only God, but to please his parents. And when Joseph, Joseph was an obedient child. So a lot of us, we expect the blessings of God, but we don't want to do the work to, to receive the blessings from God. When God told us, he tell us to be obedient, we, we want to be disobedient. When God tells us to be the head and not the tail, we want to drag. When God tells us to come, come, he come that we might have life more abundantly, we got we to gotta come. I mean, let me get back to that part. I told, I told myself, life got to be better than this. I mean, my God, my, because my dad worked, we wasn't allowed. We didn't qualify for, uh, uh, we didn't qualify for food stamps. Man, I was, I was going to my friend's house, and they was getting three hundred dollars worth of food stamps. And man, that refrigerator stayed full and packed. I was like, my God, I ain't never want to stay home, man. I got tired of sugar sandwiches, you know. I was like, oh Jesus, sugar sandwiches was sugar sandwiches. Where was that? And that's all you had to eat. And I'm just trying to be a little hilarious because it's because you know because it's hot, and not to take life so serious, man. I'm blessed above measures, and not because I got material stuff now, but I'm just blessed because of I, I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. You know, I put my whole heart into this thing, you know. One thing about the world, the scripture said the whole world is in travail, like a woman in pregnancy, waiting for the manifestations of the Son of God. The world is the world is waiting for an answer to their problem. They waiting on they waiting for an answer to their problem. We got the answer. But but we don't know how to conduct, we don't know how to use, we don't know how to manage, or we don't know how to instruct people as to how to, how to get out of this situation of circumstances. My wife was saying that we, she committed herself. She was telling me one time that um, people look at her now, even on the job and even in various churches, and they say, like, first thing they do is like, man, she thinks she all that because, you know, she dressed nice, but people don't know what she's been through. People don't know what people have been through. We, we label people, we judge people before the time. And, and we, we label people and judge people, but they don't know, praise God. This sister, you know, this sister used, one time, praise God, was almost um, at a point where she was going to commit suicide. You been there too, sister? Amen. See, see, and look at God, but look at you now. Look at you now. Come on, let's give yourself a hand clap. Because the enemy want to tell you that, Brother Cornell, the enemy want to tell you that you can't be used. You damaged goods. You don't got enough money to take care of your kids. You can't do this and that. 
But the scripture said the years that the canker worms are eaten up, God will restore. If you have a desire to be the father that you wasn't in the past, God don't care about all that which you did in your past. God don't care about that. God don't care what situation you come from. He don't care. So what your father had 21 kids? But out of tw all of 21 kids, look at this man right here. He's walking in heavy places in Christ Jesus. Here it is. God called him to the ministry. One thing about the Lord, he's an awesome God. He don't label us. He don't beat us up. He don't, he don't, he, but God is an awesome God. I heard your testimony this morning. Man, sometimes when you look at yourself, you say, me? And the scripture said, could anything come out? And the question was, because Jesus came out of Nazareth. Nazareth was supposed to be a place where it's like southeast. It's supposed to be the scum of the earth. It's supposed to be like Baltimore. Man, you go down certain streets in Baltimore, you be like, and, and I'm sorry, Ray, I ain't talking about down there. We got them in southeast too. We got them in D.C. too. I'm saying, in certain situations, you be like, because anything good come out of that situation. I'm using the full, I'm using the, could anything good come out of that situation? But look at us. But look, look at yourself. Look at your neighbor. Say, look at us. We came out of situations where we was in abuse. You know, missionary Martha was testifying this morning. She, you know, you got to be transparent. Scripture said, he that the son set free is free indeed. Scripture said that if you confess your faults, that you might be healed. In other words, if you confess your faults one to another, that you might be healed. A lot of times when we think we, we think we're the only one going through something. We think we're the only one suffering. We think we're the only one struggling with certain situations. We think we're the only one struggling with certain circumstances. God will take that misery and he will turn it into misery. God take her situation, praise God, she said her husband, he, he you know, she said her husband used to, you know, abuse her, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. And a lot of times God don't want you to say, okay, you know, you've been struggling you, you, you went through this mentally and you went through this emotionally. You, you, got, you got to sit down. The reason why God is always sometimes bringing things in our memory is because the scriptures say after you've been converted, it's time to reach back and strengthen your brethren. One thing about church and one thing about the house of God is designed, praise God, to minister to one another, praise God. It's designed to help one another. It's designed to lift one another up, praise God. The world, praise God, teach you, you know, get yours. It's all about you. You know, knock your neighbor down. Do whatever it takes to get ahead in life. But the church teaches us, praise God, hallelujah, we got to help one another. Two is better than one. When you fall, it's my job to pick you up. It's my job to encourage. It's my job to love you. It's my job to restore you, praise God. God I say, I come that you might have life and have life more abundantly, praise God. We got to come to the house of God, praise God, and we got to help one another, praise God. We got to help one another get to where God wants us to be, praise God. God has given us strength in the inward part, praise God. God has desired for us to change, praise God, to go beyond what we think, praise God, that had us bound, praise God. It's God will that any, it's not God's will that any should perish, but all come to the knowledge of repentance, praise God. All come to truth, praise God. God will turn your situation around, praise God. There's no situation, no circumstance, praise God, nothing, praise God, that God cannot do, praise God. You got to see yourself as an overcomer, praise God. You got to see yourself better.